Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Dara Education Project video tutorial series. And today we are going to start a new video tutorial series on Ruby on Rail. And in this session number one, we are going to learn how to install uh, the Ruby on Rail uh, and how to use the integrated development environment uh, for the Ruby on Rail. So let's start. And first of all, we are going to Ruby installer. First of all, you uh, write the, these words in the Google and then a lot of uh, information was shown here. But you will go and select the Ruby installer.org for Windows here. And after that, you are just add and click on this uh, download button. But before that, we are just know that this is a self-contained Windows based installer that includes the Ruby language and extension environment and important documentations. You can see that uh, Ruby programming course uh, and this is the official website for the Ruby and uh, installer. So just go and click on the download button and uh, it will start downloading. And uh, since there are a lot of versions for available for the Ruby and Rail and these are the different kind of versions are there. But we are choosing the 64 bit uh, because my computer system was on 64 bit. So kindly choose if you are on 32 bit then you will use 2.4.2.2 at 86. I am just starting 2.4.2-2 and 64 and the download begins here and I am just starting downloading it. It will take some time and uh, then I will pause the for a few minutes here. Okay, our download is completed and you can see that in the download, the download was complete here. It was almost 8.6 MB here. Now we need to download a Ruby installer IDE. For this I am just going to write Ruby installer IDE. Okay, so you can see that there are jetbrains.com, download ruby mine, ruby and rails IDE by jetbrains. Just click on it. And uh, there's a lot of IDEs. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment in which you will write the ruby and roll rail code. It was just like a dream weaver for the PHP and anything else. Just uh, go and visit this site. Uh, and you can see that there are the three different versions for Windows, Macs uh, and uh, Linux. You just go for uh, according to your system and I'm downloading it uh, the Windows uh, integrated development environment. Okay, then downloading Ruby on rail. ID was started. Okay, the download was started. Okay, now you can see that the download was started here and uh, it will take a few minutes uh, to download these environments. But we are going to uh, learn how to uh, use the downloads here and you can see that uh, here you will have a Ruby installer and just click on this Ruby installer which we are downloaded here and uh, start the installation of the Ruby installer. In the meanwhile, our Ruby um, mine ID will download it automatically. Okay, our installer was started here, and uh, for this thing, you just go and click on the run button here, and uh, it will start it. First of all you need to accept the license and click on the I accept license and then click on the next button and after that you need to use all click all these things add ruby ex, uh, executables to your path and associate.rp and rb.w files with the ruby installations and use utf-8 which is a, a coding modern coding here default external encoding here and just click on the install and uh, it will uh, start processing your installation for the Ruby on Rail. Just wait for a few seconds and it will perform the installation for you.
the meanwhile our uh, downloading was in process and it will 32 percent here right now it okay we are almost done completing the ruby 2.4.2 and setup has finished and uh, run RID install to install MSVI S2 and development tool chain here and just ok for that. It was installing some hidden files here, Ruby installer 2. It was now we will use 1. Shall be installed if you unsure press and my change here. Okay, we can go for two, I think. If I'm sure. Now we are waiting for the download of our uh, Ruby Mine ID and then we will install this ID. Okay, our download was completed and we will go and run this application this will be the ruby mine here and we will click on it and the installation will start it okay the installation was started and just click on the run and uh, the package was unzipping and the installation was begin click on the yes and first of all welcome to the ruby mine setup and click on the next it will ask the destination folder you will select the edit and then click the next procedure since uh, we have 64 bit and so that's why i am installing the 64 bit launcher if your computer was 32 bit launcher then select this 32 bit launcher click on the install here jetbrains so wait for it it will take some few minutes to install this procedure ok we are almost done the file was extracting and I think it will be completed in a few seconds here It will take some time, but uh, be patient. And after the installation was completed, almost. Okay, uh, run Ruby Mine, and we finish it. And it will uh, install the Ruby Mine integrated development environment for us. Okay, uh, the installation was completed and it was just asking the, uh, that whether your computer installed the Ruby mine before or not. If, if it, no information, if you are installing a fresh copy on your window, then you will uh, select the do not import settings and just click it on. Okay, G. now accept this license privacy policy for JetBrains and username it was an option but I'm giving here okay evaluate for free because we have not installed the uh, it was a 30 day period and you will learn the Ruby and Rail obviously in 30 days so we will start evaluation period and to start evaluation period we accept it and if you want to buy the registered version for that you can buy it after few days okay we have uh, two uh, different kind of ui interface themes one is the intellij and the second the dracula and uh, darkola so <laughs> I'm just uh, using Darkola and next key map. It was just like 
that see that there are the default type is here go to action and next default and just next features start using will be on mine and it will start that will be mine ID for you remember that the look was just like the Android studio here and um, mostly you will if you are aware about the Android studio then it was just like Android studio here okay we have installed the Ruby mine successfully and now start to create a new project here click on the create new project and it will show different types of uh, new project application and people that I'm checking it out wait for a few seconds Okay, it will ask the location and Ruby SDK software development kit was here. Just go and select it for the application. Okay, our ID was started successfully and uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will learn how to uh, display the values in the uh, Ruby on Rail for the first time. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for further videos and tutorials.